Hello and welcome to another exclusive review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz. We're the number one reviewer of theatre in the UK and Las Vegas. We just sit 60 million minutes viewed on YouTube. And this week we're at the Brian Connolly Show, Cinderella 2019, through until the 18th of January at Plymouth Theatre Royal. Brian Connolly is one of the greatest variety performers of our generation and one of my favourite stars. In Cinderella, he returns to bring back to life last year's production in Bristol, and it is almost word for word. The best thing about Brian is that his stuff is quality. The worst thing about Brian is that it's the same thing year in and year out, which, of course, if you're in a different part of the country, doesn't matter. In this show, we felt that it was slightly unfortunate that he was doing sort of X-Factor routines that were out of date. Now, this may be because he's just come out of 9 to 5 in the West End and hasn't had any time to rehearse new stuff. This is a cut-and-paste panto, however, it's done beautifully. With the Palladium set in this ginormous theatre, and by the way, one of the reasons it's in Plymouth, which has had some poor pantomimes in recent years, is because because it's one of the biggest and can accommodate the Palladium set. The downside of Palladium sets is that it won't fit into most of the most beautiful theatres. Those Matcham theatres won't hold it, whereas this looks stunning. Costumes, set, scenery, lighting, fabulous. The music as well is great with Five in the Pit. And Brian is just a legend. I mean, we get all the bits we want to get. Him falling off stage, Dangerous Brian, Tree Gag, everything you want is in this pantomime. If you've not seen him before, this is a five-star pantomime for sure. Pricing as well here is expensive, but it's actually not as bad as many of the other places who are almost twice as expensive this season, which is mind-blowing. Congratulations to Plymouth for keeping those cheap tickets at the bottom and reasonable prices within the stalls. In terms of the rest of the cast, Sarah Vaughan is Cinderella but barely gets a chance to speak. I mean, it is bizarre that the title of the show almost becomes irrelevant, but this truly is the Brian Connolly show, and deservedly so. He's one of the best acts in British history, and they're giving him his stage and his chance to shine. Will Richardson is a charming Prince Charming. If only he were better looking, I think he'd be more successful. Special nods to Tess and Claudia, which seem to be the regular name of dames now in 2019. Ben Stock and Neil Wright are two of the best in the business. What's lovely about them is that they make it local. Their local accents and local references really do make it feel like this was written for Plymouth, even though it's not. Also, congratulations to the twins. The carriage at the end of Act One is just beautiful. It's a stunning piece of art, there's no doubting it, and it's just magical for the kids. Uh, Jenny Gaynor is fairy godmother and does just a beautiful job opening the show. She looks magical, the set looks stunning, and it is a beautiful work of art. Congratulations to the Plymouth Theatre Royal. Another slightly lazy cut and paste job by Kudos, the producers, Nick Thomas and Michael Harrison. But at the same time, if you haven't seen it before, you will think this is spectacular, and rightly so. It's a gorgeous production. Cinderella, running until the middle of January, starring Brian Connolly at the Plymouth Theatre Royal.